you're developing this elevator pitch, which is like just a seed of an idea, uh, but it's it's kind of a it's you know three sentences, a uh, hook. Uh, you have a seven minute pitch, official forum, pitching forum, and all that. But if you're applying for grants, you're gonna have to, or you already have a one sheet, a treatment, uh, some type of creative document. There's ultimately usually never a, an original idea. Um, there's different original perspectives and visions, but um, you ultimately have to figure out and communicate how your film is distinctive from, from any other story that might be similar. So going into the pitch, you then you have to bring in the style. Um, what will be the artistic and thematic approach with your film? Uh, you know, both the dramatic approach, how are you going to tell the story visually um, or, or thematically, and visual approach, what is it going to look like? Is, it a, is there a specific shooting format that is relevantly tied to what the story is about? You know, are you all just playing entirely with archival footage, home movies? Is it cinematic? Are you in the Sahara Desert? Are you in, you know, the cloisters? You're, you're doing a documentary about the cloisters. Like, what is it going to look like? First, you know, minute minute and a half, two minutes, you, you have to give us a story. So immediately you have to give us a clear and simple description of your subject. Um, what is your film about? And do so in, a, in, in explaining it clearly and eloquently. This ultimately is um, just different styles and forms of writing a treatment. And some people, um, I don't know why, but they, end, they opt to kind of transcribe the material they've shot in script form as a treatment. So I'm like reading your footage. And, and this is just a, well, I mean, this is basically me. I, I just put the slide because the, the treatment should be in prose, should be your voice, should be creative. We, I wanna hear how you express yourself. Uh, so, so it should delineate in prose the primary and secondary elements of your story. Again, from a premise overview, you can, you can call it like the elevator pitch or the log line to then like start to like unravel it. Uh, a descriptive encapsulation of the project up to that stage. So and then the when, this now goes into the closer aspect of, of a pitch. When do you intend to reach the next stage and finish the film? Close the budget gap. So again, then it becomes like, again, hard data. The, this is a timeline I've set forth. Um, these are people that I've, I'm talking to that might commit to the project. Um, you know, the, and this is my budget, et cetera. And then obviously for our Latin American applicants, what I always tell them is if English is your second language, keep it simple and to the point. Thank you guys.